Hey everybody, this is Sparhawk and welcome back to another episode of Quirky Minecraft. I just spawned in a plains biome, which is a pleasant surprise. This is the biome I would have had to search for, as it is the best suited for what we'll be working on, which you will, of course, see here very soon. I found something very shitty on Thursday night. Apparently, my AC unit is no longer pumping out cold air. I think it needs to be refilled with Freon. So, uh, the, uh, the repairman won't be able to make it out here until Monday. Right now, I'm recording a lot of this on a Sunday. And holy shit, it is getting oh so hot in here. And it is terrible. So, the only thing I've got to keep me cool is this fan, and I can't record with the fan on. Otherwise, you guys will hear, you know, me in a wind tunnel. I can't even get it. Like, I tried to remove, uh, use noise removal to get rid of it, and it just, it didn't work. So, anyway, it's very warm in here. Enough about that, let's get to business. The first thing we'll need is wood, and quite a bit of it too, which is pretty standard for a new world. Uh, typically, I would cut down a few trees and make an axe to make it go quicker, but we aren't so lucky this time. Without the use of axes and swords, obviously we won't be able to gather wood as quick as usual. Um, killing animals for food will be much slower. <laughs> We'll have to uh, do slow damage to them. Uh, killing enemies, obviously much slower. Uh, that makes it a bit more dangerous, but it's not that big of a deal. I think I can live with this quirk. Um, it will make things a little more dangerous, but not that big of a deal. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the quirk system and how I come up with these and randomize them, by all means, go to the playlist Quirky Minecraft on my uh, on my YouTube site, and there will be a introduction video there that will explain how I pick these out, and how I make them and you know if you have a suggestion on a great quirk by all means go ahead and make a comment and I will definitely throw it in there now that we have a full stack of wood I guess a little over we got another three on top of that uh, I guess let's go do some exploring typically uh, I usually try to get a full stack before I start going for other materials I think what we need now is probably some coal uh, we definitely want to be able to get some torches going uh, keep us safe here the oh is that gravel I see down there? Oh, sweet, sweet gravel. Give me some of that sweet, sweet flint. I'm not gonna lie here, guys. I fucking hate this quirk. This quirk is god awful. I hate breaking gravel. Uh, you know, the flint isn't really all that useful most of the time. I guess it's good for making arrows and flint and steel, but that's about it, and it's more of a pain in the ass every time I see it. I have to break it. What a horrible, horrible quirk. I don't know if it's dangerous or not, but good god, so annoying. Ugh, finally done breaking all of that gravel. What a giant pain in the ass. Uh, I'm definitely not going to go in there. That's That seems like death down there. <laughs> Let's move along. Hey, hey, look, is that, is that coal? I actually found something that, that I was looking for. So let's go ahead and quickly make a uh, derp around here a little bit. We'll quickly make a uh, crafting table. And let's go break out a pick and get us some coal. Well, just got fucked there. Basically, we got one piece of coal and everything else fell down below. And I do not know how I feel about going down there. I'm pretty sure that's a cave and there is not a lot of light aside from the light we just shed down there. So something tells me there are mobs. I don't hear them walking around. But I'm probably going to err on the side of caution. Yep, that looks like it's the same same tunnel there. Yeah, I'm going to err on the side of caution and not go down there. It's not worth it. There's only a couple pieces of coal, so fuck that. Just keep on moving. Oh, hey, there's more coal. All right, well, I guess that worked out. With three pieces of coal and the sun setting, it's time to gather a, li gather a little bit more food. I could definitely use about four or five pieces of chicken. I'll feel much, much better about our food situation. I've kind of been neglecting it. Uh, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal since we can just outright kill animals, as opposed to my previous episodes, which were a little more, a little more difficult. Uh, hey, there's some coal there. That's perfect. Uh, I don't know if I should be mining this. We should definitely get a shelter first. I Let's just go ahead and dig into the side here, and then we will probably do a little bit more mining, get some uh, 
get some cobblestone, make some new tools. Let's block this up. I'm kind of terrified. Oh, oh shit. Alright, creeper. We're, we're, we're done. We're done. Close it up, and uh, let's go ahead and do some mining. I'm sure you guys have seen me flash my uh, my inventory screen real quick, and you've seen all the extra items I gave myself, and also the skin that I have, and I bet you're wondering exactly what the hell is going to be going on. Oh, the fuck. Something in there just firing an arrow at me? Oh, hey, it's a skeleton. What's up, buddy? Yeah, we'll just close this up. No big deal. Anyway, yeah, uh, I've got some items in my inventory that definitely speak to what we'll be doing exactly, and I can't tell you quite yet because we haven't gotten to it, but soon, soon, you will find out. As you guys can see, I've done quite a bit of mining, got a whole bunch of dirt, a whole bunch of, uh, of cobblestone, which is great, but I really kind of want to dig up and make another entrance to this place. I don't feel comfortable in that type of in that, that, that cramped area where we first came in, especially since uh, things can spawn there, since there is not, uh, since it's covered. So I'm going to go ahead and dig straight up here and see if we can get another entrance and maybe make it a little safer uh, so I don't have to worry so much every time I leave my, my little mine here. And there's a lot of spiders uh, I'm hearing, and if we can actually kill those spiders, I think it'd be pretty beneficial for us. While we can't use axes or swords, we can use bows. And actually, you know, since we have to break all the gravel that we see, we'll have a ton of flint. So if we have a bow, we can make some arrows, and uh, I think it'd work out pretty well. Alright, slowly but surely we're making our way up. I'm a little worried about... All these spiders I'm hearing. I'm sure they're right up here. I guess we'll find out here soon enough. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, oh, oh there it is! <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if we can kill them. I can't get down here because obviously spiders are, are like, um, you know, two by two surface, so I can't get down this little one by, I guess, whatever, one by three, but... Oh, well, we got two spiders, no big deal. I think I can do this. If they just keep on moving forward and coming after me, I think we'll be fine. Now, let's properly light this place because I really don't want anything spawning. I'm really aiming. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get, 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 get off. Whew. That was really fucking stupid on my part. But at least we killed one of the spiders. That is, that's good news. Come on, spider. Just die. Eat torch! Die! Okay, well he's not moving torch- Oh, there he is! <laughs> oh, man. Give me string! Yes? Nope! Oh. Okay. Trixie little spider. Alright, what do we got? God damn it, not a single piece of string. All just got bone. Oh, well. Okay, I've spent most of the day gathering up some food, getting some, uh, probably some stone, some various materials, but it is now time to build my house. Time to use this wonderful batch of TNT I have, and many more batches to come. Looks like we're paranoid. Paranoid that the government's gonna come and take our teeth. It's gonna come and take our guns away. But uh, anyway, I made this great blueprint to show you exactly how we're gonna build this house. We need to build a home that nobody would dare enter. To do that, we've been provided with a copious amount of TNT to ensure that anybody that steps foot in our home will immediately regret it. First, let's outline the walls. Note that all of the outer walls will be made of TNT as well as a lot of the floor. The inside must be made in a specific way to avoid total annihilation, so unfortunately the floor will partially be made of cobblestone. The trick to making our home secure is the four paths that must be chosen correctly to make it to the back room. The first room will have a choice of three paths with a pressure plate resting at each entrance. If the right or middle path is chosen, the entire house will explode ending the life of our poor intruder, or possibly me if I've made a wrong step. The second room will look the exact same, but the safe path will be on the right. 
the third room safe path will be on the left, and finally, the fourth room safe path will be in the middle. A recap of order is left, right, left, middle. Not too bad, however, when leaving, the order will have to be reversed, of course. One last precaution to keep our pursuers away is to plant landmines all around our house. This should give us a bit more protection and peace of mind. And there we have it, our wonderful house made of TNT. I'm not quite sure which is worse, the Flintstone Quirk or the Paranoid Quirk. The Flintstone Quirk is very, very irritating. However, the Paranoid Quirk, this shit makes me so nervous. I am not used to handling TNT, especially in a in a game where one death equals I start over completely. This <laughs> this is this is absolutely terrifying. And I realize that to set off TNT, you have to have a switch to make it go off. Um, I stopped playing probably a couple of patches after that was implemented, and I still I never really got used to it. So I'm still used to just like you hit the TNT and it, and it blows up. So this shit just, I, I don't know, it, it, it is, it, it's getting to me. <laughs> We're making pretty good progress. The walls are up, I'm now putting the ceiling on. I guess this is, uh, this goes a lot quicker when you don't have to actually procure all of the, uh, the materials for it. I realized that I, you know, I had to give myself all this TNT. There's absolutely no way I could have farmed for all of it, uh, you know, with the 10-day uh, time limit, so. I'm sure you guys understand, but uh, but yeah, this is going pretty quick. We'll soon be taking care of the interior. Well, this is actually pretty good timing. We're just finishing up the ceiling, and it's starting to get dark outside. Uh, which reminds me, we really need to get inside and put down torches before things start spawning in here. Boy, that would really fucking suck if we had zombies or, or archers or, or sorry, skeletons uh, inside our TNT house. That just sounds... Absolutely terrifying. Beautiful sunset out there. Outside, looking outside our TNT house. Oh my god. I should feel safe in this home. Yet, for some reason, I don't. Alright, let's clean it up in here. And we're going to start placing blocks and start making our rooms. Alright, the first room is complete. I haven't put uh, the cobblestone up to the ceiling quite yet. And the reason is because I'm not quite sure if the spacing is correct. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start making the second wall. Just uh, you know, it's too far forward. I think uh, we won't have enough room to make uh, four four rooms that way. Now I mentioned in my blueprint that I can't make the floor entirely out of TNT. Uh, I, I came up with a very very simple way of being able to uh, make these pathways blow up, basically, and. One of the simple ideas is the fact that the floor can't be made entirely out of TNT, otherwise it doesn't matter what, what choice you make, everything's gonna blow the fuck up anyway. So these rows that are next to the walls need to be cobblestone, and you'll see why once I start placing the TNT in the floor and uh, and I start putting in the pressure plates, it, it will all make sense. I'm sure those of you that are experienced Minecraft players, you will fully understand what I'm talking about, and I'm sure have a very, very easy solution for this, but uh, I did actually, when I rolled up these quirks, I started a game and I just went through, or just a single player game, and uh, just to get a good idea on the, the inner working of, of TNT and how it works with switches, um, I, you know, I did a couple of combinations, just tried some things out, and ended, ended up, you know, blowing myself up a couple times. So one of the reasons why this terrifies me so much is this is far more complicated than any of the testing I did before. I, I fear that even though this isn't our worst, well, I fear for our lives. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. All right, we're to the point where we can make the walls go up to the ceiling. We have all four rooms completed, and I think it's time to actually start putting down the pressure plates. So let's start digging down in our pathways. As you can see, these are three pathways that uh, we can choose from. So this is the first room. So we don't want the, uh, the middle pathway to be correct. We don't want the right pathway to be correct. So both of those are going to contain TNT, while the left path will not. And here we are at the uh, the next room, and obviously the right path is going to be correct, so we don't put any TNT there. And 
I'll be doing this for all of the rooms. Oh, wow, did we dig down to another room or something? Weird. Anyway, so we're going to start putting down the, uh, the pressure plates. As you can see, these are the correct pathways where I'm putting the pressure plates. I have not put them down on the incorrect pathways. I am terrified. God, had there been actual TNT under that. That might have been really bad. It looks like we're actually running low on cobblestone, which is really bizarre. Uh, I typically never run low on cobblestone. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, stop what we're doing here and go out and do some do some mining or some gathering. Well, since it's daytime still, I figured instead of mining, we can use that you know do that later at night. I would go out and collect some wool. Now, I'm sure you're asking yourselves, why are why are we collecting wool? That has absolutely nothing to do with anything we're doing. Well. It's so we can make a pretty bitchin' dance floor. I was a little concerned we'd run into the same problem we did last time where uh, we couldn't find enough sheep to get all the wool that we needed. But, I don't know why, but there are sheep everywhere. This place is just nothing but sheep and chickens, oddly enough. I haven't even seen a cow yet, I don't think. But yeah, sheep everywhere, so I guess we, we lucked out. Maybe all that bad luck we had from our last run kind of, you know, this is just karma. But anyway, I'm not complaining. This is great. Man, I was out here minding my own business, having my way with the sheep, and what do I find? Some goddamn gravel. And, wow, and there's a creeper in there, too. Well, can't really help it. Gotta gobble up all this flintstone. Mmm. Give me some flint. You know, interesting story about flint. Uh, the reason why this uh, this quirk actually came about was my brother, when he was little, he loved the flintstone vitamins, and he loved them so much he picked up all the red ones and ate them all, like, you know, in one sitting. Uh, and he had to have his stomach pumped. But anyway, that's the backstory on <laughs> where this court came from. So I actually came up with this one. Anyway, sorry. You may not have found that all, all that interesting, but I sure as hell love the memory. Because my brother was a douche. Alright, finally done getting all this damn gravel. This is the worst quirk ever. I fucking hate this quirk. Alright, there's one piece of flint down here. And oh, oh fuck. Oh god. And that concludes our episode. If you want to find out what happens next, by all means, join me in the next episode on the following Monday. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.